This is IBM Museum. After I posted my video on the PS2 Model 80 planers and was working on my Type 1 planer here to get it in the case, I got a uh, comment that asked me to do a informational video on the various memory modules for the Model 80. And so I click, quickly responded, and I'll go through and try and be as clear as possible for an overview of the Model 80 memory modules because they were just so different or unique to this machine. And Mike's Mac Shack was the request. He said, and for your next informational video, you you are going to cover all the different memory cards for the 8580, question mark. And I told him, sure, I can do that. So I do have, um, and I'm actually putting Kingston, enough Kingston parts along with the CPU upgrade here into this machine. I have actually an aftermarket Kingston memory card in this slot right now. Um, and then I've got a, um, a what's called a Kingston data card that has a, a, a little laptop IDE drive and a place for memory modules. A really nice expansion for for memory that I'm that I'm probably going to put all together in this machine. And even that memory card has some caveats that I'll I'll get into. I do want to pull out the the hard drive cage here. And you can you can see from when this hard cage drive cage is in there, even full of one or two drives, as the case can be. Um, and these little spinners used are used to tighten those in place on the rails. But accessing this memory location is a challenge. Um, I mean, for swapping out cards, in particular, the Type Three. I showed those latches that can be put up at the bottom there and it's really hard to get your fingers and, and things like that down there, especially on this back edge. And these adapter, these modules here also kind of stick out a little bit from the edges of that connection. So a lot of time you end up having to go through and pull the drives and the, and the cage out just to be able to get a uh, better access to that to that location. Now this is a type 1 planer and as I showed in the other video there's the type 2 and type 3 and the memory modules are with the kind of following things. With the, with the initial type 1 and type 2 release of the Model 80 they did various one megabyte memory modules. Now the type one is not particular in which slots, which of the two slots that you use if you have a single adapter like this. Um, I found I put a single module in this slot and it doesn't complain. I don't think the type three planner complains either, but the type two Planer will complain. If you have a single module, you have to have it in the closest position to the power supply. And so when IBM released the, the one megabyte modules or, or had one megabyte modules on there, there's actually a, a wide variety of uh, uh, the number of chips to these even though they're all the same capacity, amazingly. And they have this little plastic shield on the on the, the back of the memory modules just so it doesn't short against the aluminized or aluminum um, enclosure for these memory chips on the board. And IBM used these in other places as well. Uh, what they commonly did as a company is if they had an overstock of something, they found a way to slip it into another model uh, for use, um, just to, so they wouldn't have so much 
surplus in this case. And as you can see from kind of the, the cubic um, look of these chips, that these are actually referred to as sugar cube uh, memory modules, where um, it's, it's about the same size physically as a, as a sugar cube um, on the one side. Maybe not the, the same depth as a sugar cube, cube, or not actually fully square, but apparently it reminded enough people of, uh, of sugar cubes in that case for these. And the, what they call the FRUs are sometimes in places on these where you can see what um, you can look up and get a replacement. And as I say, all these one megabyte capacity are, uh, they just have a differing number of these sugar cubes on them. That uh, first adapter I showed, or first module I showed, had nine. This one has 12. And this has 18. And these boards, these modules, are only designed for the Type 1 and Type 2 planers. If you try them on the Type 3, you'll be told that the the speed is too slow. They're like 85 nanosecond speed and that's too slow for the Type 3 planner. Now this one even despite having the the sugar cubes those those memory chips this is actually a 2 megabyte module here and the same conditions apply uh, that you can only run these in a in a type one or type two planer. Um, you can't run them in a in a type three planer model eighty at all. And I'll I'll give a link to the connector that's on these as well. There's um, I mean there is a, a a scheme of what the IBM called presence detector PD that it does for these modules. And that comes into a critical aspect as well. And that just makes the system recognize that there's a module that's actually inserted into that, that slot. And IBM did that, of course, also for the 72-pin SIMs as a way of, uh, for the system to tell those SIMs apart, tell the capacity and speed, and only able to, to run on um, when they were when they were in the the what the system wanted for memory and even though and you even notice that this is also a two megabyte card and it's done with the surface mount chips doesn't have that plastic shield on the back and i want to show that the the width is just with the ears of that connector as well. And there's three rows of pins for these connectors and it's 32 pins long. And the pinout for these for just using the data signals and everything else or understanding the modules is actually relatively easy. And that'll be in that link I provided. Now this two megabyte module, even though it has the kind of the newer style surface mount chips, is still too slow for the Type 3 planer. This is designed for the Type 1 and Type 2 planers. And if you have these modules, any of the modules I've gone through so far, in a Type 3, it will give you a 225 error on boot up. And that is a than error for memory is too slow. And so with the Type 3 planer, IBM had these. Oh, and it, let me don't don't let me get too quick. I wanted to show in this case of what the 
field replacement aspect meant in this case. So you see on the older sugar cube style and on this newer on this newer uh, surface mount board they both have the same FRU on them in that label and that it means basically that they're functionally equivalent that it didn't matter which module the IBM technician needed in this case or that if they needed to add two megabyte of memory that you could use either module equally they're the same functionally to the system that's why they have the same FRU if they're different functionality they would have different FRUs or if there were some other limitation where you could not use one in place of the other they would have different FRUs and so as I was saying with the with the type 3 planer IBM had this um, 4 megabyte module and there's no chips on the back again there's that FRU and some of these modules have the FRU some don't but they're all the the same design and even this connector with the type 3 planer those those little clips can go over the bottom of this and as I say that would be a little bit challenging to um, to get those out without removing items around there for access to 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 get at the memory module connector and so these four megabyte modules uh, being for the type 3 it will run on the type 2 planer but it only uh, and at for the full four megabyte capacity but then when you have them in a type 1 planar like this it only sees the module as a two megabyte cap uh, capacity so it's not seeing the the full memory in the and it's that presence detect in in the connector that the type 1 planar is not hasn't have doesn't have two of the signals that IBM added later on for the type 2 and type 3 planners to recognize the higher capacity modules and I've never seen modules above the 4 megabyte size um, and there's been I think attempts at converting these or making these kind of like a, a sim stack where it would hold a uh, sim modules uh, to be in that position but really if you have a model 80 there's not really uh, you 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 tend to have to have these modules and I have a there's a couple companies that did aftermarket cards for the Kingston I mean for the um, for the model 80 including this Kingston card and this is a uh, also a four megabyte board has chips on both sides and in my type 1 planner here it's just going to be recognized as that as a two megabyte size and so that's an overview of the modules that actually um, go in place or you know intended for being a memory module on a mall lady now I did want to show also this adapter and this is not particular to the model 80 although a lot of time you'll find model 80s with them and the interesting thing is and this module little module has a the same style connector at a right angle and they're they're kind of in the position where the connectors at the bottom here top here top here and you can pull it off the adapter there's no memory that's on the primary or the base card of the adapter it's just based on these three modules and you can actually um, each module here is a capacity of two megabyte just like the the separate two megabyte card 
it's just on a smaller I mean they just have the same chips crammed in there on that smaller board and the interesting thing is you can actually pull on these modules and you can plug it into this connector because since it's at a right angle the little module overhangs in this area you could not have one in in this position just because of the uh the other connector and would get in the way and and if you had any or that would be your only memory card if you had in that position as well you can have a regular memory module and you could even put in one of these modules on there i mean there's not any use but it is interesting it has the same pinout for that connector that modules the same functionality if this were a straight on connector it would it would also work in that you could you could have smaller module sizes for the two megabytes and as i say each module is two megabytes so that goes through two plus two being four plus two is six megabytes on this particular adapter and you may see adapters of these that aren't populated with the full three modules but i mean they have to be populated with one to be useful at, at all to have any memory of the have a reason for having that adapter in the slot in the first place but you will find these on the the model 80s primarily uh, and different sorts of of adapters from IBM typically with the 72 pin slots on things like your model 70s and stuff like that and then there's of course aftermarket memory adapters that they may do it or a lot of time they do it in SAMs of either 72 pin SAMs or 30 pin SAMs and these go in that that 32 bit slot that has the matched memory extension that are that are common on the the model 80 so that's a an, an overview of the memory of the of the model 80 and of course you can have other aftermarket memory adapters the same way but those were the ones that were designed for the model 80 in particular and if you have any further requests for videos i can try and fit them in the schedule and come up with a way to um to respond um and maybe even give a little bit of indication i do have a a schedule that i i a planned video sequence that i go through now that i'm looking um three or four videos out and just working through the time to do those but I can handle requests and I can try and respond and get those videos up and posted as quickly as possible as well. So if you like this video, please click on that, on that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any video requests, make them and I will try and respond. This is IBM Museum. That's all I have. Thank you.